No, I don't think it'll get easier. One year after five lives were taken inside the Cascade Mall, their families are still struggling with the tragedy. I know it'll slowly pass, but I don't want it to either. Tomorrow marks one year since a gunman killed five people inside a Macy's in Burlington. Tonight, for the first time, the family of two of those victims, Belinda Galdi and B. Wilson, are opening up about the past year without their loved ones. Como's Gabe Cohen has more. One year later, life is no easier. I have cried more this year than I ever have all my life. Mike Galdi and his daughter Alicia still grieve together every day. It's a PC and it's gone. Mike's wife, Belinda, and her mother, B, were two of the five people killed inside the Cascade Mall Macy's in Burlington last September. This Saturday marks one year since their family lost so much. I couldn't even imagine going a day without being with my mom, and now I've had to go a year without her. And it's, it's been the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Belinda was a parole officer who helped turn countless lives around. B was still stylish at 95 and had just moved in with her daughter and Mike. Family meant everything to them. There's a light that went out, you know, and it's in here. Mike was in the Macy's parking lot that night. August 18th would have marked 44 years of marriage with Belinda. I know it'll slowly pass but I don't want it to either. <laughs> Mike regrets he never had the chance to speak to the suspected gunman who took his own life earlier this year. I never got to tell him how I feel and what he took away from me. And it coming up on a year tomorrow, I mean, we're gonna celebrate my mom and my grandma, but I wish they were here celebrating it with us. Mike and Alicia will be with family as Belinda and B would have wanted. We know it's gone, but you'll never forget them. To Mike, this is a lesson to say I love you every day. Realize what you have and don't ever forget it. In Arlington, Gabe Cohen, Como News. The other families are also still grieving, of course. Yesterday, we spoke to Tanya Young, whose mother, Sh Shayla, was killed inside the mall. She just started a college scholarship in her mother's honor.